Well, is the infamous Scarlett Keeling case uh, coming apart? Well, both the men accused of raping and murdering the British teenager in Goa this February have been granted bail. Now, the Goa Children's Court on Monday granted conditional bail to Samson D'Souza, while the other accused, Placido Carvalho, was released in April. Now, the court said there was not enough evidence of Samson's involvement. It also said after CBI took over investigations from the Goa police, it did not file an additional charge sheet or present uh, additional evidence. Samson cannot uh, leave the state without the court's permission and has been asked to surrender his passport. And for more, we're now joined by Priyanka Kakotkar from Mumbai. Priyanka, with the re release of both these men, is the case now falling apart? Well, that's certainly a question that everyone involved with this case is asking, though what's happened now is it's the CBI which is probing this case. Serious questions again now being raised as to how seriously the authorities are taking this matter. As the court said, the CBI had not filed a supplementary charge sheet in this case. It had not presented additional evidence in this case. To and there wasn't enough evidence to link Samson D'Souza, one of the prime accused in the rape and murder of Scarlett Keeling, to, uh, to what really happened. And that's why the court has released uh, Samson D'Souza on bail. Now, both the prime accused uh, are out on bail. Placido Carvalho was an alleged drug dealer. He was released in April. Now, throughout when this case hit the headlines, Scarlett Keeling's mother, Fiona McKevin, had constantly said that the Goa police were shielding the accused. There was a cover-up in this case. And after the outcry that followed, the case was then handed over to the CBI. But now questions are certainly being raised as to how seriously the CBI is taking these investigations and what it's actually presenting as evidence to the court. Divya.